because when you try to just shove something away, you're not saying goodbye to it. You know, you really have to uh, acknowledge that for what it is and acknowledge that, uh, you know, whatever, whatever part of uh, my life stopped working, there was something fun about that and exciting and, and beautiful, you know. So I think those are, you know, not, not as much specific things or people, you know. Not, I've lost people who are close to me in my life, and that's always difficult, you know. Um, but more uh, parts of yourself that you have to let go and grow.
you're very much communicating with these two other people that are there and communicating with the audience. When you're playing solo, uh, you're just communicating with the audience and with yourself, I guess. I mean, I guess if you if you want to talk about what it means to be a leader, I'm technically the leader. I guess just simple, really basic, pragmatic shit of uh, um, bringing bringing some material, okay. writing the material, and choosing choosing some standards that work. You know, just the material, that's sort of the basic thing. You know, and the sets. You know, I think it's a little more. Than yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, cause I think you know, a leader really has to be the source of inspiration. You know, especially when, when maybe when it's not happening elsewhere. Then that's what I feel. with Brad. I feel like he's, he's, you know, inspiration is just gushing out of him. You know, and ideas are pouring out of him all the time. And so that's the source of inspiration for us to play against, to play with. And, 